listening to Prank Calls Only with Leon Haberdashery. Here we go! This is Leon. I'm not real swift with computer. Leon Haberdashery. They don't block the blessings of any children. No tacos for you, sir. Bye. Fuck you. This is Leon. What up, motherfuckers? It's Leon. And you're tuned in to another episode of Prank Calls with Leon Haberdashery. Holy shit. Can you believe we've made it to episode 12? I gotta say, I really had fun with these calls. We started the show by calling a ton of Tradio listings and wrapped up the second half with calls to a bunch of old men in funny hats. Thanks to Dust for the numbers. I know, it's been a while since I've released an episode, and I appreciate your patience as I get back in the groove of things. The biggest thank you to my newest Patreon supporters, Richard, Dust, Mbots, Tomato Forecast, Stalin, and Arbitrary Alex. If you want to support the show, sign up on my Patreon, and I'll send you stickers. Links are in the show notes. All right, enough of my talking. Let's go. Hello. Yep, hi. How's it going? I'm sorry, say again? I said, hello, sir. How's it going? What's up? Not much, man. I was calling about the uh, the tires. Huh? I was calling about those tires. Oh, the tires? Yeah. Yeah, they're Goodyear Wranglers. Yeah. Now, I don't remember exactly the size, but they're not small. They're 20-inch tires, and they belong on a big truck. <laughs> I got you. Cool, man. How much? Uh, the tread on them is more than <clears throat> enough to pass inspection. Now, I don't know how people want to use tires. Yeah. Sometimes they want to use uh, an offset, Yeah. you know, uh, a second set to drive either winter or summer and put the good set on I got when you. they need them. I don't know, but it's up to the, uh, to the purchaser. I'm only asking 75 bucks for all four of them. Oh, nice. And they're in good shape. Nice, man. My pants are Wranglers too. Not, Pardon? My pants, they're Wranglers too. Yeah, they're Wranglers. They're good year Wranglers. Yeah. Yeah. So my, my pants, they're Wranglers too. Never, never mind, man. Any hoot. So, uh, when, when are you available? When am I available? Yeah. Well, when's it convenient for you? Right now, to be honest. Right now? Yeah. Uh, well, let's see. The tires are sitting in my daughter's backyard and just down the street from High Street. Yeah. Uh, on and uh, I'm up in right That's now. Cool. And pardon? Yeah, I'm listening. I hear you. Cool. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, my daughter and son-in-law are on their way up here right now. What about tomorrow? So, yeah, tomorrow's good. What's a good time? I don't know, like 6 a.m.? Huh? Like 6, 5.30 a.m., 6 a.m.? 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, that's fine. Cool, cool. I'm serious. Me too. I'm up I'm up at 4.30 in the morning. Oh, yeah, I'm up at like, I'm, I'm a night guy, morning guy. Cool, All man, right, cool. Um, what are you going to do, come up from... Yeah, yep. All right, uh, you know how to, you know how to get the obviously. Yep. Can I keep your toenail clippings? Pardon? Could I? Could you maybe give me your toenail clippings when I arrive? Can you? I'm sorry. Can you what? Would you be able to give me your your toenail clippings? Just clip your toenails freshly for me that like in the morning. I, I like to feed them to my livestock for calcium. I don't clip my toenails in the morning. When do you when do you clip them? Clip them tonight. I usually do it. I usually do it in the late afternoon, once a week, like on a Friday. If you just clip them for me and put them in a little bag, I'll pick them up with the tires. I like to feed them to my livestock. Are you serious? Yeah, for calcium, sir. Yeah, been... Toenails? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Toenails. I can't keep feeding them my toenails because I'm going to run out of them, sir. About clipping, well, about I'll, clipping myself bald over what. here. I'll see you tomorrow morning, and I'll talk to you more about the toenails when I see you. Sounds good, man. You got any pets? Huh? You got any dogs or pets? 
No, I don't have any pets. My daughter's got five cats. Oh, do they poop in the yard? And it, pardon? I was wondering if I could collect the poop from your yard. No, they're, no, they're, they're indoor animals. They, they, they're not going to be available uh, in the morning at that hour. Do you have a litter box so in I, the house? I have them right behind the fence. You got a litter box in the house? Huh? Do you have a litter box in the house? Oh, yeah, they got three of them. Oh, could I collect the poop from those two when I, when I swing by? Jesus. I'll talk to my daughter when my son when they get here tonight. If they got him, if they got it in a bag, they'll leave it for me out in the hall. Yeah, I would really like that poop. It it helped me. I feed that to him too. Well, if that's what you're after. Now, are your toenails are they more off white or are they yellowish? Uh, awesome. kind of a little on the yellowish side. Good. That's the more calcium. You remember, I'm an old man. Yes, that's more calcium, sir. It's a calcium. Yeah, but I, but, I, but, I don't, but I don't hold my cigarette between my toenails or between my toes. Nice. You think I, I could between my fingers. You think I could smell your hands? What? Could I smell your hands? No. Oh, too far? I'll see you about five. What do you think? Six o'clock in the morning is good? 6.30 in the morning. It's just fine. Look, I'm going to bring a, <clears throat> a pile of bricks, though. I got a, a big old what? I got a big old truck full of bricks that I'm going to be bringing by. What are you going to bring bricks by for? Well, you can, you can, I'll trade them for you, or, or I'm just going to leave them. But I'm, I'm bringing the bricks. I don't need no bricks. Ah, well, yeah, I'm, I'm bringing them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop them in your well, room. Don't drop them, my daughter's. Yeah, yes, sir. I'm going to drop them in your yard. No, 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 no. That's not going to work. Yes, sir. Just a truck full of the bricks. It's for the trade, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm just looking to sell you tires, and if they got a bag of cat poop, I'll bring. I'll hand that to you when you show up. And the toenails. But I'm bringing the bricks. I'm not, doing, I'm not doing toenails tonight. 250 uh, bricks. They're the red ones. I'm bring them. I just, don't need any bricks. Just set them off in the yard there, sir. No, 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 no. You, you need bricks. bricks. You need bricks, sir. You keep, you keep your bricks. I'll sell you the tires. I'll give you the dog, uh, the cat poo, and you can pay me for the tires, and you can be on your way. I don't want any bricks. All right. I guess that sounds good. But you can make pizza ovens outdoors. Uh, they got a big grill in the back, no problem. There's a lot of things you can well, do I'm, with the I bricks. I got them a big grill. Bricks are really, I got them a big smoker. Bricks are really valuable, sir. Not to me, they ain't. Oh. I got two milk jugs full of printer ink, too. No. Printer ink is worth more than gold, you know. I deal in scrap metal. Mm-hmm. Scrap metal. You don't want the printer ink? Do I know what? You don't want the printer ink? No. All I want to do is sell you the tires, and I'll give you a bag of cat poo. All right. That sounds good to me, man. That's fair enough. I'll see you at 630. You can come up Transit Road. Okay. All right. I'll see you in the morning with. Come all the way. Come all. The, come all the way up into. Gotcha. Uh, you come to the light uh -huh. at Quickville. It's called the. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Quickville. Yep. You make the right turn on to. You come all the way into the. Let me see. One. Two. Third stop sign. Gotcha. Hey man, could I get your poo too? No. Okay. I just want to make sure. I like to test it. You make the left turn on the third stop sign, which is B Avenue. Got it. You come up about a short. I'll just text you. I'll call you in the morning. It's on the right side. Okay, got you. I got you. I'll call you in the morning. All right. Sounds good. See you then. I'll see you there. Toodaloo. Bye bye. Operator, trace this call. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Cindy. How are you? Hello. Hey, how are you? Who's this? Oh, my name is Leon. How are you? This isn't Cindy, but who are you looking for? Oh, well, I was obviously looking for Cindy. What, what, what are we tracing here? Um, who are you looking for? I already told you what I was looking for. I, I said Cindy. But what are we, what are we tracing? Who, who are we tracing? Is this Roxy? I am tracing. I know. I'm tracing the phone calls. <laughs> what, what kind of device are you using over there? Um, well, I have a device connected with 
the police department. Oh yeah, what's what's, what more, what's that device called? What more would you like to know? What's what the, more would you like to know? What's the device called? <laughs> um, the device is called the police department. Oh, okay, cool. Are you having any luck? <laughs> I am. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Cool. Don't fucking call back, hey, asshole. Wait. I want the pants. I'm gonna I'm gonna call her back. Operator traced the call. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Cindy, I want the pants and the sweaters. Come on. Well, you got to push that eight on the phone. Push it. And then it'll just, yeah. Push the eight. <laughs> you guys, are you guys getting your rocks off by calling everybody? You know, we have somebody here that's 80 years old. If you're getting your rocks off by phone calls, go call somebody on a fucking dateline. I want, stop fucking, I want the women's stop jeans and the sweaters. Other people. I want the jeans and the sweaters, ma'am. You're going to want something because you're going to go to fucking jail if you call back again. I'm not going to call back again. <laughs> Hello? Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. Cool, man. I was calling about that pop-up hunting blind you had. Oh, okay. Yeah. You still got it? Yeah. I had a call this morning about it, but if the guy can't look at it till. uh the weekend yeah, nice anyway. i don't give a fuck is it camouflage or what's it look like yeah yeah camouflage cool man is it like a little tent or is it just a blind yeah it's like a dome uh dome one you know it's uh cool how it's much got like it's got like four things that uh kind of pop out and you got the zipper windows and stuff yeah how much yeah 35 bucks 35 bucks you ever used it huh no my son actually used it twice cool man can I come pick it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready right now? Pardon? Are you ready right now? Where you got to come from? Uh, yeah, you, unless you want to wait till tomorrow. I don't, I don't care. I Whatever you want to do. Huh? I could come tomorrow morning or something. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you just put the... Uh, I don't have the little plastic stakes that go on the ground, but you just, uh, you know, yeah. put... Four little stakes in it. And yeah. Sets up by itself. Nice. Nice. Who's that in the background? My wife with TV. Wow. Uh, turn the TV down and tell her to shut the fuck up. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. <laughs> it's a little distracting. Oh. <clears throat> you got yeah, any pets? Well, huh? You got any pets in that house? Yeah, I got a dog. Oh, really? A little one. Hmm, so that thing might have some dog fur on it. Yeah, he's got a lot of fur on him. Look, I was interested in, like, maybe harvesting the, the skin from him so I can make a little coat. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I'll just peel it back. <laughs> no. Won't hurt the dog. <laughs> Won't hurt the dog at all. Uh, no? So, yeah, give me a call tomorrow and, uh, let me know when or what time or whatever. Do mm. you have any previously enjoyed sexy lingerie or maybe some old socks I could grab when I when I swing by? No, don't have any of that. Your wife doesn't wear any sexy lingerie? No, those days are over. God damn, that sucks, man. How old are you? How old am I? 78. How, how big a boy? Can you be in the blind when I come in? Can what? You think you could be in the blind when I come in? I'm going to see how hard it is to find. I don't know what you're talking about. In the blind, man. In the, in the, the hunting blinds. Pop it up, and could you just be sitting behind it? I'm going to see how hard it is to find. Sitting behind it? Oh, fuck it, man. You drink too much Ripple, don't you? Hello. Hello. How's it going? Good. Who's this? Oh, it's calling about those tools and the hatchet. Is this the same guy that was scamming me last week? Scamming? What do you mean scamming you? No. The fuck? I don't scam anybody. Hello. Hi. Howdy. I was calling about the uh, washer and dryer. Sure. How can I help you? Uh... Call it about the washer and dryer. 
Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> I think he was on to me. He's on to me. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, the, they both work fine. The dryer, uh, it's got the... Uh, Oh, a knob missing for the uh, the start on it, you know, but that's easily fixed. Yeah. How much? How much what? For the two of them? Yeah. $75. I'll give you 65 since you just really fucking hung up on me. Yeah. Yeah, wasting my time and shit. How how's that sound? 65 Oh, uh, for the hang. Sure. All right, cool. I I'll, I can swing by tonight or tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow later in the day would be better. Sounds good. Sounds good. Hey man, uh, you got any like fresh toenail clippings? Excuse me? Would you happen to have any fresh toenail clippings? What are you out of your mind? Well, I like to feed them to my, oh my goodness. <laughs> what a dick. Oh. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Howdy. I was calling about the uh, mountain bike that you had there. It's, uh, oh. I, w I woke up. Uh, I just woke you up? Yeah, it's, a, it's an iron, iron man. Were you dreaming? Uh, no, I wish I was would have been a nightmare i'll bet oh. uh it's a spicy food uh it's got uh i was riding with the uh atv tires or what do they call them um uh, yeah yeah but i bought uh i bought the other tires you know for riding on the road I could I could handle that better in my in my wrists and my hands better. Um I have no clue what the fuck you're talking about, sir. Are you still asleep? <laughs> no, I just woke up. Do you have a woody? No, not right now. Hmm. I always have a woody when I wake up. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still a young spry man though, myself. Are you good? Yeah. You got any like maybe fresh toenail clippings? No. You have any pets? No. Really? Just a lonely old man. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Well, here's my thing. I, I just mounted a deer's head in my house we, we we took him down a couple of weeks ago and i just mounted that bad boy over my fireplace and i've got the whole headless deer body to trade what do you think about that i got enough deer it's just the body sir it's a stuffed body now yeah i i don't know what i'd do with that hmm you wouldn't be interested no hmm Thanks anyway. You sound like a guy that... Are you a Ripple drinking man? No. You don't drink Ripple? No. You ever drank? You sound like a guy that drank a whole lot of Ripple back in the day. I did. Ah, I knew you did. I could I could hear it in your voice. Yeah. Man, I'm a drinking man myself. Whew. Yeah. I love to imbibe in a bottle of Ripple. What are you, uh, what are you thinking about? Uh, selling a mountain bike. Oh, my bad. I got totally distracted. Was it four hundred dollars? Yeah. Oh. Two sets of tires. Okay. Well, I got about three seventy-five, and uh, my mouth. I'll suck your dick, sir, and give you the uh, three seventy-five. No, I don't go for that either. <laughs> wow, I'm real good at it. Your daddy, your daddy taught me how to do it. Did he? Yeah. He, he, he might have. He did. He taught me how to suck a good dick. Good for you. Are you interested in the 375? No. Oh, no. I got a bottle of Ripple, too. No, and I see the money. That 
Then I'll sell it. You said you'll take the deer? No. no. I didn't. What did you just say? Oh, you all right? <clears throat> Sir. Where are you going? Oh, my goodness. It sounds like you got excited. Sir, you will wake up with Woody's for months after I get my lips on you. I can guarantee it. I guarantee. I do. And I do. I do. Dick slap. Can I get a dick slap? Sir. Well, you want to call some other people with me? We can call Randy. Hold on real quick, and I'll get Randy on the line if you want to call. Hello? Hello, good evening. I was calling about the uh, skidoo. What's up? I was calling about the skidoo. Oh, the snowmobile? Yeah. Yeah, that's all. Damn, really? What's up? Hey, could you tell your fucking kids to shut the fuck up? What's up? Tell your kid to shut the fuck up. Yuck. I don't know who you think you're talking to. Could you tell your kid to pipe the fuck down, please? Why don't you? Look, what else you got for sale, man? I can't think with your stinking little kids yelling. Well, I can't think with you talking. If you come over, I'll smack you around a little. Yeah? You think you can maybe smack me with your dick? That, that kid is really that kid is really annoying for real. Like, ugh. Yeah, so are you. It's fucking annoying. I want that skidoo though. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to come over here so I can punch you in the mouth. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. I, I like I like getting punched. Why don't you come over here then, big shot? How big a boy are you? You'll see when you get here. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like that a lot. So what are you up to tonight? Hanging around with your badass kid? <laughs> Hello. Hey, howdy. Hi, I was calling about the video, the infamous. Oh, yeah, I got that. Still got it, huh? Yep. Yeah, nobody's nobody's called, so Cool. Now you said it was open? Yeah, we just took one scoop out because uh Albertsons ran out of the baby formula that we had been using. Mm. Um they just had like little tiny jars of it and uh you know, we had to get the little tiny jars because uh our baby didn't like it, so Ah. Does your baby have toenails? Uh, does Daxton have toenails? Yeah, yeah, he does. Oh, cool. You think I could have maybe a couple of the clippings when I come pick up that infomil? Uh, why is that? I like to feed it to my cattle for the calcium. Why would why'd you have to ask your wife? You don't know if your baby has toenails? I don't look at my baby's feet like that what you don't look at your baby's feet what the heck you should be cleaning your baby's feet like on a regular basis man what's that you should probably be cleaning your baby's feet on a regular basis my guy yeah i do that um who's that did you just like change sexes or something i'm sorry his mom Hey, sir, could you tell that bitch in the background to shut the fuck up, please? I was talking to the man. Whoa! Excuse me. Who are you calling a fucking bitch? Whoa, pipe down. I was talking to the man. Sir? Sir? No, you're going to talk to me now because this is my kid, too. Well, your baby sounds ugly. Who the fuck are you? Oh, my name is Leon. I was calling about the infamil. Okay, but you're going on about my kid sounds ugly. If you're going to be immature, you don't need the fucking formula, obviously. I do. 
No, if, you don't, because you're not going to sit here and say my baby sounds ugly and you're not going to be a fucking douchebag. Listen, if your husband doesn't look at your baby's toes, they're going to turn into webbed toes. You don't want your baby to have webbed toes, do you? doesn't have webbed toes. I do the cleaning of him, so you're not going to sit here and call me a bitch or call my child ugly. Oh, my bad. Pipe down. No, I'm not going to pipe down because you're being... No, just knock it off. Okay, my bad. Let's start all over. I didn't mean to get out no, of hand. I'm done with this shit. Oh, why? I really want that infamil. I don't care. I want your toenails. And I'd like to smell your hands when I come over. Give me the quick finger swipe. Dude, you're going to be turned into the fucking cops if you keep this shit up. Why would you involve the police? I'm going to have, I have a fucking gun. So if you come over to this place, I will fucking shoot you. You're going to shoot me over a simple call? Um, what'd you just say? You know, it's illegal to kill people and shoot people, you right? Wanted, you wanted to smell my toenails? No, I wanted to smell... Being your, being really I want to your, smell your being hands. Really weird my kid. I want to smell your hands and I want to clip your toenails. My toenails are clipped. And my friend would like to brush your slimy hair. It looks dusty. Yeah, I think like this is probably Madison's little friend. Your hair looks matted. It needs to be brushed. When was the last time you brushed your yeah, hair? How do you know who I am? Huh? How do you know who I am? Everyone knows who you are, duh. Who? What happened to the husband? You sound like a gay fuck right now, so... It's 2021. Calling someone gay is not an insult. Try harder. No, you just didn't do it. I'm not trying to insult you, dude. Oh, well, I mean, it seemed like you were. You're going to be a creep about my fucking kid? You're gonna be a creep about me. You can fuck her. Madison is a bitch too. Who the fuck are you? Why don't you take your gremlin ass toenail baby and hang up the fucking phone? Who are you? My name is Leon for the third time. Leon what? Can we get a gallon of breast milk with the baby powder? I'll bring my own pump. Let's get a full name, dude. My name is Leon. Leon what? Haberdashery. Yeah, that's a bullshit last name. I already know that one. <laughs> it's actually my name. I highly doubt that. You're just loving this. What a weirdo. How am I a weirdo? You're the one who's fucking just being a creep. You called the number to be a creep. Who does that? I'm actually the ugly baby police, ma'am. And you've been reported. Oh, okay, I'm going to go with that. You're probably friends with Madison. I'm just going to go with that. Madison is, is a bitch. Harassment. Yeah, you know who she is, though. This is one single phone call that does not count as harassment, ma'am. Yeah, it actually does. No, it doesn't, ma'am. Everything that you said, that counts as harassment. You sound like you drive a Ford Escape. You sound like uh, that's actually wrong. What? Why are you calling the cops? Don't call the cops. We don't need to involve the police, ma'am. Pipe down. Why is that? Pipe down. You actually drive. Why wouldn't I do you drive a two thousand. Please. You drive a two thousand and two Acura MDX, don't you? No. Oh, it's a Ford Fiesta. No. Madison must have told you that your baby was ugly, huh? No. Oh, are you on the phone with the police yet? Yeah. You really got that husband of yours in check, don't you? No, it's just called protecting his family. Yeah. With your guns? Yeah. Were you were you there at the Capitol when they stormed it? No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw your picture there. I'm sure you did. I think I did. You can hang it up. You can hang, hang up too, dude. Hang up the fucking phone. You hang up the fucking phone. Nah, this is too much fun. Ugly ass, grub ass, troll ass baby. So who's a mature ass actually calls people like this? What? Who's a mature ass actually calls people like this? I don't understand your cartoon stupid accent. I don't have a cartoon stupid accent. You stupid gay fuck. <laughs> I've already told you it's 2021. Calling someone gay is not an insult. I'm not trying to be insulting. Your baby's so ugly, it makes other babies cry when they see your ugly baby. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of curious how you know my baby's so ugly if you haven't seen a picture. Everyone's seen a picture of your baby. 
No, not everyone has. Yeah. The whole town talks about your baby. Yeah, I'm sure they do. They do. (laughs) Shit. Cotton within Suites, this is Damien. How can I help you tonight? Oh, hi. I was actually calling about the uh, the Tradio ad. I didn't know this was a hotel. Yep. Yes, sir. This is a hotel. I was calling about the queen and king size beds. Oh, yep. We have them for sale up here. Yes, sir. How much? Um, Let me check the price sheet real fast. They are $50 each. Now, wait a minute. Um, Are these the ones that have been in rooms? People have been sleeping on them? Yes, sir. And you're just you're just selling them? As far as I know, yes, sir. That's fucking disgusting. Yeah, I would agree, but like, it's just what the business decided to do. People have done the fuckings on them and, and the suckings and all of that shit on them, and then you guys turn around and sell them for 50 bucks? Yeah, I would agree. That's, yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just donate them to, like, Goodwill or some shit? Honestly, I'm not sure that'd have to be the owner. That's disgusting. You guys are doing some kind of weird, like, tax fraud shit or something, huh? But, yep. You guys got any ones with, like, interesting stains? Though I might be interested in those ones. Like, maybe blood stains (laughs) or big, big pee stains. Honestly, not that I know of, sir, no. (sighs) Shit. I was really interested in the ones with the stains. Yeah, I could transfer over to the housekeeping. (laughs) <laughs> are they in are they in house right now? Uh they are not. You'd have to leave a message for the manager. Do you know if they drain the smegma before purchase? Uh you know I'm not exactly sure about that one. Have you ever slept on any of those beds? Um I have before, yeah, only when we got snowed in. Oh, I would like the bed that you slept on. <laughs> well, I mean if they have any over in the West Wing, then you know I'd be more than happy to help you with it. That's nice. Hey, man, you got sharp toenails? Uh, no, not in particular. No, we just ran out. You just ran out of toenails? Unfortunately, yes, sir. I'm talking about on your feet, sir. Yep, those ones, yep. Oh, you clipped them bald? I mean, without a doubt. I'm looking to collect a couple of the toenails so I can feed them to my cattle. (laughs) But, yeah, no, actually, no, sir, we do not. Do you know if any of the bed, if if the beds have like bed bugs? Oh uh, no, we do not have any bed bugs in the hotel. No. Damn, because I'm buying it for my daughter, but it's going in my my ex wife's house. You gotta add a little bit of spice to that, then. Hell yeah, that's why I want the bed bugs. <laughs> uh, yeah. What do you think but, about like yep, a if you're in. a good old dick Pardon sucking? Me? What about a good old dick sucking? Uh, either way, I'm broke. I couldn't make that work. I'll pay you. <laughs> for the oh, I mean, that's a, for the that's a hard bargain. <laughs> yeah. Are you 18, sir? You sound kind of young. No, I'm 17. Oh, God. Goodbye. Hang it up. Hang it up. Hang up the fucking phone. All right. <laughs> Hang it up. Hang it up. Hang up the fucking phone. Hello. Good evening. Hi. How are you? Okay. Is you calling about your little Moseses in a boat? Our little what? Your plants. The Tradio oh. ad. Yeah. Moses in a boat? Yeah. You still have them? <laughs> you, said, uh, you said a boat, and I was thinking a real boat. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I do have some. I, never, I got rid of three of them. I never heard of those. Are they like little purple and green ones? Yeah, they're green leaves, and then underneath it's purple, and then the flowers come on like in little pods, Yeah, and they're white. That's cute. That's cute. Nice. Could you turn the TV the fuck down? Gosh. Oh, is it loud? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that a man talking in the background, too? No. Oh. Have you ever heard of Jesus? Wind. Have you ever heard of Jesus in a dump truck? <laughs> Not in a dump truck. No. I know he's everywhere. <laughs> it's a cute little plant. Are you watching Cops or Live PD? No, 911. Oh, that's a good show with Angela Bassett. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Nine nine one one. Nice. So. So where do you? You're in. Yeah, I am. Is that where you are? No, I'm in. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. Not too far. How many plants would you be interested in? Just a couple, like maybe two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, my plants got really big, and I I just had to cut cut them down a little bit. <laughs> but I've got them rooting in water right now. Nice. I got a bunch of beanie babies I could give you for a trade. <laughs> oh, I don't need anything more collection. <laughs> you don't like beanie babies? Well, I've got a doll collection, and I just don't have no room in my house for any more collections. Mm. Do you have any... Uh, We've got antiques. You have any pets? And everything else. <laughs> Two. Dogs? And Two cats. Oh, cats. Ugh. Disgusting. Yeah. Yuck. My husband had a dog, and, uh, and then I had a cat. When was the last time you clipped a... those cats' toenails? Uh, well, I know one needs it. The other one doesn't. Oh, they one does need it. I'm a prof- yeah. I'm a I'm a professional dog and and cat nail trimmer. I like to collect. Oh. I like to collect the nails and the and the little trimmings <laughs> for my little projects. And I, and I also feed them to my cattle. It's good for the calcium. Mm. You think I could clip one of your cat's toenails? Well, I don't know. She's a feral cat. I just oh. brought her in. <laughs> Oh. Ugh. She's barely used to be. She's getting better. Are they trained to poop in the litter box? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Maybe I could just have the poop from the litter box. <laughs> just rake it out of there and put it in the well, litter box already... for me. You want to collect that? What do you use that for? I like to collect the poop <laughs> for a little project that I'm working on. And I run tests on it and stuff. I could tell you all about your little cats. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, one's a fur ball, I tell you that much. She sheds like crazy. That's really what a feral cat needs, though, a man forcefully clipping her toenails. But, yeah, these are two female. I got them both fixed. I wonder if I could clip that camel toe. Hmm? Hello? I don't know. No? Yeah. <laughs> you have any... uh? You know, like sexy lingerie or old socks. This is getting kind of weird. I thought it got weird a long time ago, but uh, maybe like around the poop or the the toenails. Uh, or would you have any interest in playing gin rummy? No. Nope. Not at all. Nope. I like to bet over a good old game of. Gin rummy. You ever had gin and milk? Who is this? Who am I? Yeah. Oh, my name is Leon. Leon what? Leon. Leon Haberdashery. It's just biology, ma'am. I don't think you're interested in plants. I definitely am interested in the plants. Don't call again, okay? Well, can I please have the plants? I don't think so, since you want to be obnoxious on the phone to me. I'm really not being obnoxious. Here's the deal. I've got two tons of bricks, and they've got to go. I'll bring the bricks, and you give me the plants. I'll just bring the bricks and lay them out in your yard. I don't have any room to lay any bricks. Can I fertilize you, ma'am? Goodbye. Hello? Good evening, ma'am. I was calling about the recliner, the Lazy Boy. Oh, I sold those. No. Yeah, I had them on Friday and sold them right away. No. Yeah. <laughs> what else? What else you got? That's all I got. I had the couch and the recliner. Uh, what do you think about bending over backwards and popping that thing for me? Hello. Good evening, sir. How are you? I'm calling about the Yamaha Grizzly. Oh, it's already sold. Well, damn it. Really? I'm sorry. Oh, how much you sell it for? Um, 6500 bucks. Nice. 
Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. What's ready for? Yep. Sorry about that. So. You got anything else for sale? Nope. Nothing else. No. Nope. How big a boy are you? Who is this? My name is Leon. What is all the noise in the background, sir? What are you worried about? It's my family. Well, could you tell them to shut the fuck up? You're on the phone. Who are you? Oh, my name is Leon. For the second time. Oh, why are you calling me? I was calling you about the Yamaha Grizzly. You're not very sharp, are you, sir? No, I'm not, I guess. You can tell. Yeah. Keep asking my name and why I'm calling and stuff. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hi. Yeah. Just calling about the rummage sale. Well, how about if I send you a flyer, I'll email you a flyer? Yeah, nice. Let me. going to show me what you guys have. You know, there. I'll be honest with you. I packed that trailer, most of it, last mm -hmm. last year, getting ready for 2020 huge rummage sale. And then, of course, COVID nice. hit. Ah, uh, yeah. It went down. Gotcha. But I do have. I, other than just lots of stuff, but it'll detail a little bit better. I'd sure take your email address and send you an email, uh, a flyer. Okay. okay you got a pin? Are you ready? Yeah. It's B-I-G? B-I-G. Big as in boy? Yeah. There okay. you go. D? D? I-C-K? C-K. Okay. T-I-N-A? N-A. Okay. T I N A at gmail dot com. At gmail dot com. Let me go over this now. B B as in boy. I G as in girl. D as in dog. I C K. D as in dog. I N A. The last one is T I N A. T I N A. T N. Okay. Yeah. Gmail dot com. Let me yeah. change B to a T. Okay. You got it? Yes. BigDickTina at gmail.com. Got it. All right. It cool. won't be long and I'll get it sent. I'm Tina. Okay. Okay, Tina. I'll send it. All right. Thanks. Bye. You betcha. Bye. Hello? Good evening. Is this uh, Forrest? May I ask who's calling? Oh, it's Leon. Oh, yeah. Okay. Le Leon. Yes. Yeah. With the uh, the society. You know, right? Yes. How you who, whoa, what's with the noise in the background? What was that? Is that your husband? No. What was the noise? The neighbor down the street. Oh, okay. Tell him to shut the fuck up while you're on the phone now. It's a serious conversation. No. Okay. Hey, tell him to pipe the fuck down. Why is he screaming in the background and going on and stuff? He's talking to the cat. Oh, my bad. I thought he was talking to me. Well, look, uh, the thing about it is y you don't season your food, man. You got to use more than salt and pepper. You got to season it. You haven't been seasoning your food, sir. We've been okay. talking about it down here at the society, man, and... You just haven't been seasoning your food properly, man. Everyone's been complaining that your cooking is awful. You just use salt and pepper. You ever heard of, like, paprika and Cajun seasoning? Yeah, I've heard of all that. Uh, seasoning salt? Who is it? It's Leon. The tops are talking. Why don't you tell that bottom to shut the fuck up? Hey, sir. 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 Yes. Everyone goes home and they they vomit. Just thinking about your cooking. You talked to Frank lately? Really? Have you talked no. to Frank lately? You got somebody else on the three way? No. What was that? What was that sound? You're not talking very much, sir. Can you do a boner check? Hello. Hey, Robert. Who's calling? Oh, it's Leon. Leon? 
Yeah, Leon. Leon, who? Oh, I'm sorry, you've got me confused with somebody else. No, I don't. Is this not uh, Barry? Yeah, it is. That's what I thought, man. Call him from the society. The, uh... Oh, 40 and 8. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. How you been? What can I do for you? Oh, you know, just calling, uh, calling around. What have you been up to? How are you holding up? Oh, we're <laughs> surviving, but that's about all. Yeah. The we, were wondering if, is. we were wondering if maybe you and Cindy wanted to join our, our new swingers club. I don't know anything about it, and it's not Cindy anymore. It's Marcia. Oh, what happened to Cindy? Yeah, she decided she wanted to go somewhere else. Well, fuck her. If you know what I mean. How's Marcia doing? Is she good to you? She's fine. Good, good. Would you guys be interested in swinging? I don't believe so. Why not? I... Uh, I got hoes in all kind of area codes. We could connect together and swing. Yeah. No, I don't think we're interested. Thanks for calling. Bye. Oh, come on. Don't be boring. Live a little. What's going on, buddy? Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm all right. Uh, this is not Leon. Uh, he's he's drunk. And I it's not him. Leon? No, I, I have his phone. He's drunk over here. Is huh? this Mike? Is this Mike? Yes. Yeah, man. Yeah, good, good. I just wanted to know if you wanted to be uh, the color guard for the next parade. Where at? It's going to be downtown, but you can't do that, that ugly thing you do with your face, man. Do what? You can't, you can't do that ugly thing that you do with your face this time if, if you're going to color guard. What are you talking about? We want you to be the color guard. But you can't do that ugly shit that you do with your face, man. You, you, you fuck up the pictures and, and, and everything, the videos. You can't do that thing with your face. <laughs> I don't know. You got me mixed up with somebody else. Is this Mike? Yes, Mike. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. You make that, that real sour face like you're, you're sucking on sour candy or something. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, look, man, we want you to color guard, but you can't be having those vinegar strokes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, man, I got a quick question, though. You ever pop a Cialis and, and throw uh, Jill's back out? No, not me. Never? No. Nope. You ever thrown your own back out after popping one? No. Would no. You Would you be interested in swinging with the, with the gentleman and I maybe next weekend? Do what? A couple of the buddies and our wives, we put together a swingers club, and we're swinging next weekend. No, no, I'm out, man. <laughs> You're not interested? No, you got me mixed up with somebody else. This is Mike, right? Yeah. Yeah, I got you just right, man. I know who this is. No, you don't know who I am. Four and eight. Where, where are you from? From the four and eight. I'm here in you are? You ever throw out your cock muscle when you're pushing for a gushing? What boys are you? You're with the 40 and 8? Yeah, with the uh, conductors. What, what, what boys are you with? You know, you know me. What's your name? Leon. Where you, where you live? In a... You're not, you're not Leon. What you talking about, man? You're not Leon. I know who Leon is. Have you been drinking tonight? I know who Leon is. Who is Leon? What's your What's your wife's name? Man, you're asking a whole lot of questions, man. It's Linda. This ain't This ain't Leon. Look, man, I, I had a little throat surgery, and I, my voice ain't what it used to be. But <laughs> yeah. you're killing me. You're you killing me. Really highly recommended for the swingers group, sir. No, no, no. Listen, 
Did you ever throw out your cock muscle when you're pushing for a dish? <laughs> you kill me. How big a boy are you? Hello. Howdy. Is this Clarence? Yes, it is. How you doing? Pretty it's good. Le it's Leon with the four and eight. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah. We're just calling out. Uh, we wanted to know if you wanted to do the uh, the color guard. Uh, no, I can't work color guard. Not now. My I broke my arm in December in three places, and I'm still healing. Holy shit! What'd you break your arm doing? <laughs> huh? What'd you? How'd you break your arm? I fell down and I walked. Was going down, uh, going out to check on my cats, and, and I, I don't know. I wound up falling on the porch. Shit. On the, but I think I hit my arm on the end of the side of the steps, the sharp point. You know. I it wasn't your masturbation that, hand, was it? Yeah, I'm a right arm. God damn it! You better get used to it with your left. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's healing up. They put a, a steel rod in and and uh, thirteen screws. Hey man, you you drinking that ripple? Huh? You been drinking that ripple tonight? <laughs> no, I ain't been drinking nothing. Hmm. I I don't know. I. Apparently, I passed out or something. But I don't you got to stay out that wild turkey while your bones are healing, man. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. Hey, man, uh, the, the boys and I, we were talking uh, about last weekend. We, we decided that your go-kart maneuvering is bullshit, and you're off the team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just bullshit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that porn in the background? No, it's uh, wrestling. Oh, who's it's, wrestling tonight? It's a wrestler. This is a a girl wrestler. She, I don't know. <laughs> She's on there quite a bit. Does she and, have old titties? Yeah. Mm hmm. Definitely porn. Blonde. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you weren't one of them. You didn't storm the Capitol, did you? No, no. Good. I wouldn't do that. A couple of the boys, you know, they they did, and they got caught. Uh, they ought to know better than that. Yeah, they ought to know better than that. Because hmm? there's more. Of it. They got you on camera, and they, they ain't no way you can beat it. <laughs> you think I could put a copper rod in you? Yeah. Yeah, that might work. Hmm. Sounds nice. I love it. Yeah. We're planning a, a circle jerk here real soon. Would you be interested? <laughs> no, I'll lay out of that. <laughs> How come? Huh? How come? I just don't don't get to that, too involved in that anymore. Hmm. Used to. <laughs> You're watching one of those wrestling videos where the loser gets fucked with a strap on in the end, aren't you? No, it's not that. It's on on TV at WWE. Uh, do you like soggy biscuits? Sometimes. <laughs> Me too. So you used to do the circle jerking, but you you retired. Yeah. 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 Since I retired. <laughs> When you get to be 82, uh, you don't do things like that too much. 82 years old. You sound like a young man. <laughs> you don't sound nothing older than about 62. Uh, well, I used to feel that way though. I fell down out here. It's very progressive of you, though. Yeah. I admire you. Well, I'll let you go. Enjoy your wrestling. Thank you. You have a good one. I'm going to watch basketball instead. Okay, hey. we'll see you later. All right.
Mark. Toodaloo. Hello. Hey, how are you? Is this uh, Arthur? Huh? Is this Arthur? Yes, it is. Hey, it's Leon from the 4 and 8. Huh? It's Leon from the 4 and 8. Yeah, 40 and 8. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. That's better. 40 and 8. Yeah. What about? How you doing? What am I doing? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm in bed. Oh, were you asleep? No, I haven't gone to sleep yet. The TV's awful loud. Huh? The TV's awful loud. Is Carol next to you? If I got what? Is If you turn the TV down, you could probably hear me better. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on a minute. Sure. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So is Carol next to you? No. Oh. No. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, so, here's the deal, man. Me and the boys, we were having a little jamboree last weekend, and uh, they don't like the faces that you make. The faces I make? They always say that you're squinting with your left eye and biting down on your bottom lip with the left corner side. And it just makes everyone kind of nervous. <laughs> they said you have a, a real sour face every time that you're around. Oh. Yeah. Where, where was this at? Oh, this was at the little jamboree we had last weekend. Oh. Who's this? Oh, my name is Leon. Leon? Yeah, Leon. Oh, I, I, I don't, the name don't ring a bell. Oh. Well, yep. I'm with the 40 and 8. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What what, you, what Voyager? I mean, it's, we don't have to get all personal, do we? I'm with the Gar Pass. Huh? The Gare Pass. Passe? I, I don't understand you. Me neither. It's, it's like the G Gare Passe. That's the Voyager. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Mm. Oh. So, yep. what do you need? I was wondering, what's your favorite arthritis medication for a night when you really get down? I don't have arthritis. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. How long ago did you take your night meds? Pardon? How long ago did you take your night meds? What night med? Your night meds. I don't take any. Someone took your picture, the one when you're making that real sour face and you're squinting with your left eye? No. Yeah, someone took the picture and they posted it in the penny saver. And did what? They posted it in the penny saver. Uh, I, don't, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know. I got to go. Bye. Okay, bye. Love you. Hello? Hello, good evening. Is this, uh, um, is this Karen? I can't. I can't hear you over the TV. Hello? Hi, is this Calvin? Yes, it is. Hey, yeah, this is Leon from the 40 and 8. Okay, yeah, how are you? I'm all right. Could you do me a favor and turn that goddamn television down? I did. You did? It, yeah. Anyway. It's still very loud, sir. Huh? It's still very loud, sir. Why don't you make that wife useful of yours and have her turn it down? It's down. I don't know what you're I don't know what you're hearing. Sir, are you a Calvinist? Who you, is this? My name is Leon. Are you a Calvinist? Because me and the boys, we had a little jamboree last weekend, and we got to conversating about you and your wife, and they told us that you are a Calvinist, sir. I don't know what you're even talking about. You are a Calvinist. Well, 
I think this conversation is over because I don't know what you're talking about. That's what a Calvinist would say, sir. Well, good. And so, goodbye. Love you. Yeah, hello. Good evening. Is this uh, Ron? Yes. How are you? It's Leon with the 40 and 8. Yes, how are you? I'm doing okay. Doing just fine. Look, we wanted to know if you were coming to the meeting next uh, next Friday. Um, next or this coming Friday, right? In a few days. Yeah. Yeah, I am going to be in. Oh. For the weekend, where I would try to do that. Oh. Um. Yeah, I've got a um, military show. Nice. Are you a Calvinist? Excuse me. Are you a Calvinist? No. Hmm. Okay. Just making sure. You think you could bring enough hot chicken back for the whole group? Bring in what? Enough hot chicken back for the whole group? I have no clue what you're talking about right now. Hot chicken? Aren't you said you're going to Nashville, right? Yeah. You don't know what hot chicken is? Hot chicken. Yeah, it's a delicacy. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> You sound younger than all the oldies. How big a boy are you? Yeah, I'm 53. Oh, nice. Mm. So um, we also were talking about the faces that you've made in kind of the past meetings. Do you always make that stink face? Ah, who the hell is this? <laughs> My name is Leon. Okay. And which voyage are you? Well, we don't have to get personal, do we? The avocado. Okay. Yeah. But we don't have to get personal, do we? Anyway, how can I help you tonight? Because I'm actually at work. Where do you, what kind of work are you doing? I'm doing an inventory right now. You kind of remind me of the Smash Mouth singer. Don't know him. You know I'm a grand, right? And you're supposed to give me respect? No. <laughs> what do you mean, No. No, we give each other respect. So you're um, way off base. <laughs> excuse me, sir. You need to pipe down. I'm your grand. Um, my grand is not you. Yeah, you're right. But I mean, I might as well be your grand. I'm not in your voyager. Voyage. Voyager. I know, because I am the chef at our voyager. Yeah. You're right. You guys still meet on the Tuesdays tomorrow? Um, third Tuesday. Oh, that was last Tuesday, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's when they said that you're... That's the face they were talking about. Which one? They said you make a real side eye, like, I don't know, some kind of a snake eye. And they said you always have a kind of a stink on your face. You know what I mean? Has anyone ever no. told you that? No. At least not to my face. <laughs> it's a complaint that's been going around, and it made it to my meeting last week. I don't know, maybe your boys are kind of nervous to tell you, but that stink face and the, and the snake eyes, they got to go, man. You can't be doing that. Yeah, okay. That's part of life. Are you fucking edging right now? Hey, hello. Hello. Good How evening. are you? I'm doing all right. Is this CJ? Yeah. How you been, man? It's it's Leon from the 40 and 8. Yeah. Yeah. How are you? I'm doing all right. Hey, whoa, can you turn that TV the fuck I down? I did. I did. Oh. <laughs> hey, we didn't just talk, did we? No. I didn't think so. You sounded like the guy I just talked to a moment ago. No. No worries. Hey, man, we started a new swinging club. Were, were you interested? You and your wife, Marilyn? No, not really. Uh, this has been a kind of a very busy and dark time. My daughter-in-law passed away yesterday or day before yesterday. Shit. We just got back from uh, Atlanta uh, Sunday yesterday. Perfect time to go swinging, man. No. 
No, thank you. <laughs> Might be good for the heart, man. I don't think so. You ever swing in your life? No. Oh. Well, me and the boys, we put together a little swinging party. And we've been swinging since last March. We've really been swinging all through the Corona, but yeah, we just we like to fuck the pain away, really. Yeah. Yeah, we've been swapping wives, and some of the fellas, you know, they have a good time with each other. We keep an open mind. But if we can't put you down for that, what about would you volunteer to be the color guard for the next uh, the Easter parade? I don't believe so. Why not? Age and can't march. Yeah. How old are you? 79. You're not that old yet, man. Yeah, but my body is. You can come and not tell your wife. No, thank you. Know, you know, the, bro the brothers never tell. No, thank you. Oh. Well, what are you up to tonight? Well, I was uh, watching TV before you called. Yeah. Have you ever popped a Cialis and thrown your back out? <laughs> I don't think this uh, conversation is going quite the way you expect it. Yeah. One more quick question, kind of a favor. We are actually looking to put someone in a wheelchair just to make our club look, you know, what we're trying to do here. Donations are down, so we're trying to get the whole front line in wheelchairs. I don't believe so. You wouldn't be willing to, like, maybe sit out in front of the grocery store in a wheelchair? No. Oh. When's the last time you had your asshole licked? My what? Your asshole. What about it? Marilyn doesn't lick it or tickle it for you, sir? <laughs> Too far. <laughs> Motherfucker. Hello? Hello. Whoa, somebody. And David, is that you? Yes. Yeah, tell your, tell your wife to put the phone down. It's just not in the I'm going to. You don't have to tell me. Hang up the goddamn phone, Jill. I'm sorry, David. Yes. How's it going? It's Leon what? with the with the forty and eight. Oh, Leon. Okay. Yeah. How you been? Uh, buried. Buried. Yeah. We're yeah. Uh, we're dug in here and just uh, stayed buried down here in Festus. Oh, okay. I got you. I thought you meant like buried, like in the dirt, man. No, no, no. We Shit. just uh, pull, uh, jumped in the hole and pulled a hole in after us. Uh, is, are you talking sexual talk to me, sir? No, sir. What are you talking about? No, we just, we just uh, with his COVID, why we just oh. uh, buried and went to uh, nothing. We, we went to church by... Uh, uh, Zoom and uh, everything. Yeah. Well, hey, man. Um, the thing about it is we need to get together. You know, uh, you know Ralph, don't you? Yeah. Well, see, Ralph, we had put together this little swinging thing last March because of the COVID, and we had been swinging, but Ralph took it too far, and, and he fucked my wife, Linda. I mean, just totally fucked her. And so me and the boys were getting together, and we're going to egg and TP, and uh, we're going to graffiti his house. So we were wondering if you would ride with us. Um, I'm, I'm confused here. What are we trying to get together about? Uh, this Friday, uh, on the, the second, me and the boys, all of the boys, we're going to get together, me and... And David and Robert and Terry, because we're going to Ralph's house. And we're going to be teepeeing in his house and throwing eggs at it. We're doing it in go-karts, and you got to bring your funny hat. The white one. He fucked my wife. So, I am not understanding what you're trying to do here. Ralph fucked my wife, Linda. 
And now I'm upset because he took it too far. We weren't supposed to be fucking each other's wives. He fingered her under her dress. I thought it was funny at first, but he, he went too far. So I got a Kia Soul with a third row, six windows, and I need you to take a seat so that we can ride on Ralph. We got a, I, got, I got like a couple cartons of eggs, and I got, I got the toilet paper. My windows are tinted, so nobody will know. Sir, you keeping up with me? I have no idea what we're trying to, to accomplish here. You know Ralph, right? Yeah. Okay, he fucked my wife. He finger fucked her. He, he put his fingers way deep inside of her. I thought that he would stay in the shallows, but he went way in the deep end. And so now I got to pay him back with a carton of eggs. I don't understand what's, what's the confusion. Confusion? The, con the confusion is I don't want any part of this. I got to show Ralph that I ain't no pussy bitch. You can't just go out finger banging my wife the way he did. We got to ride on it, man. And we're brothers. I thought we were supposed to be brothers. You're supposed to ride with me, man. I got the eggs. I bought the eggs and the toilet paper. We just got to ride. I have the, the car and the tinted windows and the third row. Hop in, man. We'll pick you up on Friday. I don't think so. Why not? I don't get involved in something like this. Well, do you think your wife would be interested in swinging with the rest of us? This is out of line. Goodbye. I love you. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Is this Ralph? Yeah, it is. This is Leon. Leon, what yeah. are you doing, man? Not too much, man. Just hanging out. What about you? Yeah, pretty much the same. Yeah. Um, did you uh, come to the last meeting? To the last, what we just had this past weekend? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember seeing you. Who'd you say this was? This is Leon. Leon who? Hey, man, you fucked my wife. What are you talking about? Yeah, you fucked my wife, man. Who is this? It's Leon, man, and, and we were just supposed to be swinging, man. We weren't supposed to be fucking each other's wives. Who is this? God damn it, man. It's Leon. Leon who? This is not Leon. Why'd you put your dick in Linda, man? Just be honest. Why'd you do that? Who is this? You were not supposed to put your dick inside of my wife. We would have been cool with it until you put that stupid fucking hat on. Ralph. Ralph. Yeah. Yeah, man. Me and the boys, we've been talking, man, and... You're out. You can't do what you did, man. You're out. Kevin and I and Arthur and Clarence and I and Robert and all of us, you just can't. We can't be doing what you've done. You can't go around finger banging people's wives. I thought we were supposed to be grand to one another. That's not grand. It was supposed to be swinging, man, not you just raw dogging my wife. And the face you made before coming? What's up with that, Ralph? I mean, I know my name is Leon But that didn't give you a right to go up inside my wife's Capitol Hill the way you did. Ralph, there's only one way we can, set, we can settle this, all right? You got to tickle my pickle. Hello? Hi. Um, I was looking for Hallie. Speaking. Oh, you're a man? I hope so. What kind of name is Hallie? That's like a, that's a pussy ass name. Well, that's a good one. Like Halle Berry? She the pretty one and I'm the handsome one. Okay, I guess. My name is Leon. I'm with the 40 and 8. Yay! How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. 
How good, 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 good. That's good. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, so I, I was meeting with the boys last week, uh, and they told me what you did. Why'd you do that? Do what? They told me what you did, Hallie. And I mean, I was really caught off guard. I'm going to give you the opportunity to man up and tell me, and then I'm going to tell you what you did. Now, do you want to be a man and tell me? Or are you going to be a, a little Halle Berry? Well, I didn't do nothing. Sir, now, you emptied your dangling fruits in my wife. She told me. Linda, you dumped them bad boys off in my wife. Why did you do that? What? You dumped your dangling fruits off inside of my wife and then took her to Olive Garden. Why? You, Sir, must, have me mixed. you must have me mixed up. No, this is Hallie. You're with the 40 and 8. They showed me the pictures, man. Sir. Yeah. Are you a black man? <laughs> you sound like a black man. I had to ask. Where is this coming from? If so, you are the only black man on this goddamn list. Is this a cult? Hey, hello? Hey, uh, I think we got disconnected. Yeah, what can I do for you? Oh, no, man. I was just trying to figure out why you did my wife like that. But Come on now. Don't, don't play with me on the telephone. It's all good, man. I mean, I was cool with it until you took her to Olive Garden. Who am I speaking to? Oh, my name is Leon. Leon. No, you must have the wrong person. No. But what you did was highly, highly, highly inappropriate. All right. Okay, then. We have the wrong connection. I'll talk to you later. Okay, don't be a dingleberry. I love you. Yes, sir. Hey, how's it going? Hello? Yeah, hi. Is this Donald? Yes. How are you? It's Leon. Leon, yeah, I can barely hear you. Well, maybe you should put the, the thing closer to your ear. Oh, is that what it is? I thought I was listening with my big toe. Oh, what a smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never liked you, but I had to call anyway. So what you been up to? Not too much, man. Listen, um, the boys and I, we got together, and uh, you're out. All right. Yeah, we don't we don't want you around anymore, man. The, the the looks that you give everyone makes everyone uncomfortable, and then they say that you always come in smelling like chili. Chili. Yeah. Do you? Wow. Well, I was thinking more like hot tamales. <laughs> what a smartass! Have you always <laughs> had quick, witty comebacks? That's another thing we don't like about you. Uh oh. Yeah, you're out, Donald. I'm out. Yeah, we don't want to see your face again anymore here at the uh, All right. and Eight. Yeah, you stink like chili, and those those stupid looks that you give, I don't know, man. You keep serving those looks at our meetup, and, and they're disgusting. <laughs> it's really not funny. Oh, so what's up, rascal? Not much. Just calling to let you know that you're out. I'm out. You're out. All right. All right. Is that your TV in the background or your dumb wife? That's my TV. Why don't you turn it the fuck down? Well, we were watching the uh, pandas at the zoo. The pandas at the zoo? Yeah. That sounds real exciting, Donald. <laughs> and I'm not your fucking rascal, by the fucking way. No? No. People get tired of you giving the wet willies, dude. Yeah? We're not, we're not in high school anymore. It's not cute. Oh, man. Yeah. I just got my fingers scrubbed and got a manicure. Yeah, please stop. It's, it makes everyone real uncomfortable. <laughs> We're actually posting on our group page, you're happy to be out of the closet. All right. Yeah. So, so get ready. So what's going on? 
Nothing. Again, just calling to let you know that you're out. I'm out. You're out. All you stink right. like chili, and your stupid looks are annoying. <laughs> yeah. Stay at home with your wife and watch your stupid panda movies. All right. Don't come to our meetings anymore. No more meetings? Yeah, no more. Has anybody been showing up for them? It doesn't matter. You're out. I'm out. Fuck you and your Toyota Prius. Oh, I wouldn't have a Toyota. Yeah, we know you drive that Prius. We saw you sneaking in the back of the... We saw you last time, buddy. All you right. Get away. So you need they to got... turn in. You need to turn in your hat. All right. So they got a meeting Wednesday, or what's going on? The meeting doesn't matter to you anymore because you're out. All right. Yeah. You need to turn in the hat. All right. Which one? The white ones. All of them, actually. I got so many of them, I don't know how to keep up with all of them. Well, burn them. You can't wear them anymore. You're all right. out. Yeah. Yep. That's pretty much it, so you can hang up the phone. <laughs> okay. All right. Hang it up. Tana. All right. Okay. Take care and stay healthy. I will stay healthy. You relax on the chili and stop with the dumb looks. All right. We are the cool kids club now that we kicked you out. All right. That sounds like a winner. You want to join the clan? No. Good. Good answer. <laughs> Good. Good times. Do you want to give me a drop? Give you a what? A drop. A drop. Yeah, say, you're listening to the Leon Haberdashery Show. Oh, the Leon Haberdashery Show, huh? Haberdashery. All right. Yeah, just say it all together. What, the Leon Bad Habit Show? Oh, my gosh. That's cute. I like it. Mmm, <laughs> feisty. No, but really, it's, you're listening to the Leon Haberdashery Show. All right, the Leon Haberdashery Show. Yeah, now put it all together. Okay. How big a boy are you? Not that big. Small guy? Yeah. Hmm. You do sound like a small fella. <laughs> yeah. I like your laugh. It's cute. All right. You can hang up the phone now. All right. We'll talk to you later then? Probably not. All right. Because you're out. All right. Stay healthy and out of trouble. I will. Love you. All right. Take care. Bye. All right. Bye. And that's where you hang the fuck up. Okay. Yeah, that's on you to hang up. You got to right. hang, hang up the phone, Donald. All right. I'll see you later. Take care. Have a good one. We went right. through this. This is the second right. time. Bye. Bye. All right, motherfuckers. That's it for now. Thanks for listening. And until next time, keep laughing.
jam on a go round. Do you have anything that you want to shout out before we let you go? Um, just a shout out to Leon, I guess, mainly. Yeah, Leon's a solid dude. Nice.